Our featured judges include self-made millionaire entrepreneurs that have pitched their way to scale multiple nine-figure companies and brands. David Meltzer grew up poor with the dream of buying his mom a house and a car. Within nine months of graduating law school, David achieved that dream. After becoming a multimillionaire, he then lost over $100 million and built it back to run the most notable sports agency in the world. Considered one of the top entrepreneurs and investors, David is also a three-time international best-selling author, a top 100 business coach, and host of the top entrepreneur podcast, The Playbook. His life's mission is to empower over 1 billion people to be happy. This simple yet powerful mission has led him on an incredible journey to provide one thing, value. Terry Ichioma is best known as the founder and CEO of Trade and Travel. As the number one course creator on Teachable, Terry Ichioma empowers thousands of people around the world, teaching them how to supplement their income through trading so they can design and enjoy their ultimate lifestyle. Rory Kataya is a serial tech entrepreneur who sold his first tech startup for more than $200 million. Now CEO of NASDAQ-listed Verb Technology Company, he's disrupting the sales software industry. Jason Waller has his company Power Home Solar on the path of becoming a billion dollar business. His serial entrepreneurial success has come without a college education or generational wealth and he uses naysayers as fuel to prove them wrong. This 2019 Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Southeast Award winner has further turned haters into fans by educating others about his journey through his podcast called True Underdog which has earned a top three ranking among Apple entrepreneurship podcasts and through his new book, Own Your Power, which already has reached bestseller status on Amazon, The Wall Street Journal, and USA Today. Our first contestant is Lori Burns, the founder of Hussy My Lady. Well, first off, uh, why do I want to be on this show? You guys asked me. <laughs> So fantastic. I helped build multiple companies with my ex-husband and uh, after getting divorced, then I went on my vision quest, as I call it. And uh, that is, I'm finding my true life purpose. My motivational story is getting divorced. It's awesome because it's like, I was able to just recreate my whole life. And this is the first time in my life that I'm actually starting to learn how to love myself. And, um, and just gain my own independence, and that's just a super groovy thing. All right, Lori, your two minutes start now. Hello, hello. My name is Lori Burns, and honestly, I am just here to pitch myself uh, <laughs> and enjoy this experience, hence no background. Exactly. I'm also known as a spiritual starfish. Why? Because I come from, oh, goodness gracious, I just, because I'm filled with love and light without the need to be right because I believe that we are all right, right? All right. My ask of you today is to help me with a podcast television show, okay? That being said, let's get down to business, AKA my story, as I'm totally messing this all up. I'm well aware. That's okay. That's the way we rock and roll. So this is, this is my gig. <laughs> so built, uh, met my ex-husband, Yes, ex-husband, uh, and there's background. This is like, the internet is really tricky right now because I can hear voices right we going on. So I'm just, I'm gonna be honest. Well, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep fucking walking and rolling. Excuse my language, but that's the way I roll. I'm on my vision quest. This is about experience anyway, okay? I'm pitching me. If you like me, if you buy my energy, people buy vibes. They don't buy things, they buy the vibes. I'm on my vision quest as a groovy lootly, that's what I like to call it. So, we're just gonna flow with it. I appreciate your patience greatly. So, as I've been starting my uh, personal brand, uh, and IG stories are part of my, are part of my, are part of my everyday life. Yeah, I'm entertaining, aren't I? I mean, what did you, why wouldn't you want to invest in me? I mean, I just blew this up like nobody's business. In such a great way. I want to help. I want to help make the world a better place. Help me, help me make the world a better place. Let's do it together. That's what I'm talking about. So, actually, do you want to help me? 
Oh, oh my god! Are, are we getting punked? Was this real? Where's so, Ashton Kutcher? Uh, so, so, the hussy m'lady. Um, uh, hey, you used all your time uh, efficiently. I'm, <laughs> I'm, this is kind of, I, I, I'm trying to find the right words to describe words. this. I, but, but honestly, and, and you guys are gonna completely think I'm not Kutcher. I get you. You're not. Oh my god. <laughs> I I actually get you. I think that you were so damn entertaining. I think people will absolutely tune into your podcast. I think you draw an amazing, crazy audience of fans, probably worshipers. And, and yes, and I, I would love to get behind you. Put you on Verb TV. You could we could sell anything you want. I, I got thought that you on. were just completely out of the box. <laughs> It was almost unreal, but I'm glad that it was real. I'm also glad it was virtual. I mean, I mean, but I thought you were terrific. I'm glad I'm don't don't be your person. I am Stay a virtual. big fan. Huge fan. Loved it. You okay, got it really? yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You put her on TV. You put her on anything. People are gonna tune in. There is no doubt in my mind. That is true. So honestly, I do feel like if you had a podcast, like you would get a ton of views. However, That's we don't know want. how consistent that podcast would be. I'm not sure if you would actually come on. Oh, you would come on. You could do. Would you be consistent with your podcast? Oh my goodness gracious! I mean, watch my IG. Oh my for like God. Every single day. I mean, I'm I, my IG stories. Please, 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 please look. And I'm saving them to the highlights. I'm learning technology. I mean, I'm 38, so you know. I don't know if I get you, but I, I love it because I, I'm rolling, so I would watch it. I thought I was getting punked. I thought Ashton Kutcher was gonna fly down in a parachute and be like, we're kidding. But really, we all were watching and like entertained. So whatever it is you wanna sell or do on the podcast and get followers, and I, I think you would crush it because no you are, look, you are uh, uh, a little bad <laughs> crazy, excuse my French, but, uh, but that's okay. But that's that okay. sells. That it sells. sells. Yes. I loved it. <laughs> Rory sees your genius because I do as well. And if I break this down as a pitch, you started off and told us what you needed help with a podcast. All four of us agree, as long as you show up, that your <laughs> crazy ass podcast would kick ass. And I think with Verb TV especially, and there's tons of brands that love that. Oh, forget and it. it. I'm calling, I'm going to send this clip to Rob Deerdeck for ridiculousness. He's a friend of mine on MTV because this clip got me. Yeah. Done. Done that and well. that's why this is such a great show to showcase everything that needed to be showcased. Yeah. Period. Welcome back to Two Minute Drill. I would like to challenge my co judges here. Oh, goodness. To <laughs> redefine what is a business? What is a business pitch? There's all different kinds of businesses. We saw a lot of traditional businesses. Some people presented them far better than others. Some had better business fundamentals than others. But this person, Laurie Burns, completely different kind of business. It's a business, guys. I, trust me, Big it's business. a business. I want to put her on Verb TV and you're going to see what she ends up doing. It's not what we've seen before, but it's a business. And if you're going to pitch that kind of business, how could you possibly do it any better than the way she did it? Okay, I rest my case. <laughs> it is a something. I'll give you that. It's a business. It is a something. <laughs> the thing I, the thing I liked, or the person that I liked the most, was Sarah Hall. I like the helium concept because panic attacks and stress is such a big issue right now or in general, but definitely right now. I think that her product would definitely help. And I do want to give a shout out too to Alexis. I like the idea of the roommate Yelp, <laughs> even though it would be hard if somebody gets a bad review, Indeed. but I thought Indeed. the idea was cool. All right, so I'm going to disagree with both of you. I thought both of the pitches that you talked about, Sarah's and- My lady, the Empress. Okay? Yes. Uh, <laughs> look, I was torn because the Empress brings a lot of energy, which I love. And something that will do well, she should have a TikTok channel, Verb TV, you name it, TikTok, she'll crush right. it. Isn't that a business though? Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's an idea okay. of a business because she said a podcast, but she missed all the elements of what we're really doing here. It's a two minute drill to take $50,000 to do it. Connections really give her that. I don't, it, it, it just felt like on the pitch because she was all over the place. I mean, 
it was good. It was entertaining. Like if we wanted to watch WWE or, you know, some, some crazy reality TV series, Think that about, sells. Yes. But, but that's not getting, in my opinion, uh, the judges to say you had the best pitch because she really had nothing to pitch except I want to do a podcast, right? If we go to Danielle, who has a product, she had a great pitch. She had high energy. She was drinking out. We were laughing. We gave her A plus, A plus, A plus, almost quadruple bam, right? That's a big deal. Um, Sarah had four seconds left on the clock, you know, and that's a, a game changer for me. So, you know, where do you stand? This may be the toughest decision I've ever had to make in any of the shows that I've done, any of the pitch competitions. And I've had to go through my criteria to find the winner. My criteria is credibility, emotional attachment, quantifying the reasons in my head of, of why the, the pitch was aligned with or the success of the company, the impact as a business or as a purpose, um, and the capabilities that is aligned synergistic or supplementary to the pitch. It's so tough because I don't want to discount the efforts of all the people that you mentioned because they were extraordinary. And it's such a challenging thing, but I have to surprisingly agree with Rory. And because she sold a crazy podcast. That, that, hey, that crazy make, works. Look, I you're a it. podcast guy. We have one yeah, of the I top agree. Two it's a great business in the world. Yes. And I have a huge audience. I'm not sure I can compete with the size of the audience that's gonna love that crazy. I agree. And everything she did was aligned with crazy and having a crazy podcast. And all she did was help me with my podcast. I know how to brand, that's my gig. I know it wasn't intentional, but she was incredibly unintentionally pitching exactly what she pitched. I don't and know that it wasn't intentional. I don't know either. I, I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that. But congratulations, hussy wow. my lady. Good you, for you. You did it. The Empress. The Empress. Ball, David. Congratulations yeah. to you. That's yeah. awesome. I love it. You oh. should name your podcast Bat <laughs> Crazy. That would work. Well, then that would work. <laughs> that, give it the double fingers, too. Like, that works, too. That way, see, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> love really? it. Yes. Love it. Really? Yeah. Harry's leaving the show. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. This, this is right. <laughs> I'm giving everyone else who bitched the, whatever they asked for. Here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations. You will Wait do well. Hour. You will do well. I can't wait to listen to your podcast. I'll be your first guest. <laughs> Can I be your second guest? <laughs> okay, fine. I want to be on the Can show. I right. Right. <laughs> She's in. Hey, she's in. See, you sold her. Verb TV, baby. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Two Minute Drill. Congratulations again to our winner and to our other featured contestants. And a special thank you to our generous sponsors for providing over $50,000 in cash and prizes. See you next week on Two Minute Drill.